So any of those, even Madonna? Because I mean, Madonna has a oh reputation for oh being- Oh my God. Yeah, no, I almost, almost, almost had the opportunity. Um, she was getting ready to do Truth or Dare, uh, the, 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 the tour with Vogue in it. And she was working with a choreographer that was not working out. And um, I, during that time period, was developing either for Bet, Kiss My Brass or Miss Millennium. I can't remember which. Um, and I got a call when I was in rehearsal. Madonna would like to meet with you for, for, for this show. And I said, I'm not available. And then she met with Vince Patterson also, who did a phenomenal job. Oh my God. Vince came in and I don't think, I don't think there could have been anybody better than Vince for Madonna for that show. It was, he did a fantastic job. And I think you're mean for the, because I think that that was the girly show tour after. The after movie. No, the girly show happened after that. So it was the tour before that. That was the tour before that Vogue was in. So like you, you see my mouth is on the floor because we all have our favorites, but so just entertain me for a minute because I mean, okay. so wait, so you turned down Madonna for bed. I did. So I didn't turn down because I didn't have the job. She just wanted a meeting with me, but I, I, I turned down the meeting because I thought, well, I, I, I can't waste her time when the timing is the same as working with Bet. And I was already with Bet. How great it would have been to have done both. Now, I did Tina and Bet almost at the same time. But Bet, I worked with her on the Caesar Palace show starting 2008. So we were up and running. We, well, no, 2007. We were up and running by 2000. 8, 2009, 2010 at Caesar's Palace. I choreographed Tina starting in 2009, but I had already finished choreographing that show. 